In this video, I'm going to walk through playing Tech Exchange and setting it up. Game setup. First, we create the stock market, which is composed of the four one value cards, the Internet of Things, e-commerce, data mining, material sciences, the one value card of each domain, knowledge, science, technology, and services. Each forms its own stock stack, and they all come into play at the start of the game. Next, we deal each player eight cards, and in a two-player game, we deal 10 cards to each player instead. Then, we set the remaining cards aside to form a draw deck. We tilt the bottom five cards of the deck, which will signify the end of trading, and for a five or six-player game, you need to use two tech decks. Then you randomly determine a first player and give that player a first player marker. This is necessary for the used card effects phase. Gameplay. Each round has the following phases. There's a first trading phase where players exchange cards between each other in real time. Players pause trading when any stock stack hits a value of three or if no one wishes to trade anymore. Then the first use effects phase and starting with the first player who, the, who has the first player marker, all the players may use a game effect from one of their cards in their hand. The first two players to do so puts a card into the stock stacks from the deck. And then there's a second trading phase and players continue exchanging cards and making trades until no one wishes to trade anymore. And then the second card effects phase, a second use card effects phase allows players to use card effects in the same way that they did for the first use card effects phase. And then there's a reveal and score phase. All players discard down to a number of cards equal to the, num to the player who has the lowest number of cards. Then all players reveal their hands and players score their hands. And then the reset phase, we reset for the next round. And then the game end check phase, the game ends after three rounds. You pass the first player marker to the next player on the left. In the trading phase, players trade between each other in real time, negotiating trades. So for example, player two may say, I need a two value or a seven value card. Does anybody have either of those? Player one says, I do have a two value card. I can trade, I'm looking for a four or nine value card or service domain card. And player two says, okay, I'll offer you a nine value technology card for your two value card. They make the exchange. And after any successful trade between two players, the top card of the draw deck is revealed, the aid of science in this case, medical sciences, and it's placed into the science stock stack, increasing that stock stack to a value of two, which will be important in the scoring phase. Players then continue trading, and in this example, they make another trade, the 13 of technology and the four of science between each other, and they reveal the top card of the draw deck, the 12 of science, atomic sciences, and now, the, that stock stack has reached a value of three, so trading pause, pauses, and they go on to the use card effects phase. In the use card effects phase, starting with the first player marker, uh, the player who has the first player marker, player two in this case, they choose to use the three of knowledge, cryptocurrency, and use its effect, purchase, look at the top three cards of the deck, take one, discard one, and replace one. So she looks at the top three cards of the deck, which is the five of service, the eight of technology, and the 11 of technology. She decides to take the eight of technology into hand, discard the five of service, and she places the 11 of technology on top of the deck. After um, she uses the card effect, it, the card goes um, into play because you reveal the top card of the draw deck and put that card into the appropriate stock stack. So the 11 of technology is revealed. It goes into the uh, technology stock stack, increasing its value to two. And then um, afterwards, she'll discard the three of knowledge and draw another card to replace that card. And then scoring. Uh, we'll look at uh, after all trades have been made. Um, suppose player one's hand looks like this and uh, after a number of trades and use card effects phase, the stock market looks like this. 
it, it, the resulting stock market is four cards in the knowledge stock stack, two in the technology stock stack, three in the science stock stack, and two cards in the service stock stack. So for scoring, we're going to look at uh, each group in player's one's hand. So for his three of a kinds, his triple, he looks at the stock stacks to see the value of the domains that of the triple, knowledge, science, and technology in this case. And the stock stack of knowledge is worth four, technology is worth two, and science is worth three. So his best multiplier is the knowledge stock stack, which is worth four. He multiplies that value, the multiplier value, of four times the number of cards in that group, which is three. So three times four, he scores 12 points for that group. He, he repeats for the other groups in his hand. So the next group is his one flush. And it, it is a three card flush of the service domain. The value of the service domain stock stacks is two. So he takes the service multiplier two and multiplies it by the number of cards in that group, three. Two times three is six points. And finally, he uh, evaluates his four of a kind quadruple. And because that quadruple has a card of every domain, He's just going to look at the most valuable stock stack, which is the knowledge stock stack, uh, which has a multiplier of four. He multiplies the number of cards times four and scores 16 points for that group. And after all scoring is done, the end of round cleanup happens. So at the end of each round, we reset. We take the one value cards to form four new stock stacks, like at the start of the game, shuffle all other tech deck cards, and then deal eight cards to each player. And again, if you're playing a two player game, you deal 10 to each player instead. You place the new deck by the side of the stock market, just like at the beginning of the game. And then there's a game end check. After three rounds, the game ends. And if the game didn't end, you pass the first player marker to the next player on the left clockwise. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that gives you a good sense of how to play tech exchange and I hope you consider backing my Kickstarter. Thank you.